Good, 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 good. I'm trying to reach for the fan switch. <laughs> Afternoon, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come on back tomorrow. All right, done working for the day. I'm gonna run out and grab a few things from the grocery store from since we didn't make a trip this weekend. And I think we're cheating and picking up some Impossible Whoppers for dinner. Um, I wasn't gonna go on a run to so give myself a day off, but it's that weird mentality since I ran so early yesterday and it's already 5.30 today. I feel like I haven't run in a long time and I should probably just take the day rest, but I might, I might go on a run. I don't know yet, but um, time to go shopping. I just parked at Publix. I gotta show you the other mask when we get home, but Laura and our friend sent us these. And uh, they're real nice. They uh, are a couple layers and you can add a filter to them, but do not burp in these because I may have made that mistake. Almost everything was a deal. And yes, I'm getting four containers of strawberries and three containers of blueberries because of the Publix deals. So Peter is out and about right now. He's just finishing up at Publix. Does anybody else like stay on the phone with whoever you're shopping with so that you can talk through the different options? Just us? I don't know, I feel like that might be a common thing. But I wanted to tell you that my water intake has been doing great. I don't really know if anyone cares. Um, but what I decided to do is to avoid having to go to the bathroom constantly and like slugging these down, these 24 ounces down. Um, I am setting a timer on my phone for two hours and I just have to just drink one every two hours. And like, obviously if I'm thirsty, like I'll go and get more water before that. Um, but it's actually worked out really well. And I'm on my fourth one of the day. I need to do like just over six to get the gallon in. Um, but when I first heard a gallon, I was kind of overwhelmed, but it really is easy peasy. Also, this was $10 on Amazon. I had all different kinds of colors. I came with this straw and it's just, it's really nice. I'm just really impressed by it. One thing about having so much time inside, not going in the office or not going out, you don't think about things like how it's way too hot to be wearing a long sleeve shirt. It's 93 degrees today. Woo. But I'm done with the grocery shopping. And it's hot. I had to wait for the fries so you know they're fresh. They absolutely had no barbecue sauce. I'm just kidding. They gave me three. <laughs> Look at all the bobos. And then there's like a lot, but like. Buy one, get one free. Buy, buy three for ten. Buy one, get one free. Look at all those strawberries. Those are big, juicy strawberries. Delicious blueberries. Delicious tomatoes. Delicious cereal? Question mark? And Bogo salsa. And Bogo tortillas. And so much happiness. I'm so full. From that Burger King. Alright, it's May 4th. What's that mean? It's Star Wars Day. We're not gonna watch um, a Star Wars movie. We're not? No, I think we should. I thought we said we were gonna do like the John Favreau new episode. Thingy. And then watch, go on, continue on with our Marvel. We hadn't decided. I don't know. I kind of like I'm feeling a Star Wars movie. Oh, okay. Well, well, before we decide... We'll definitely watch this first. I want to show you two things. I showed you the one when I was in the store. So this is... Um, my friend Lauren's got a shop. Is she selling these? She is not. Okay. Moment. We'll put her website. It's like an Etsy yeah. in the info below because she just sells a bunch of awesome stuff. And then there's even like pockets to put filters in there if you wanted to. Um, so they're super cute, super comfy, cozy. No elastic. Oh, it's a little stretchy, but cloth. But we got something else in the mail. I'm gonna show you guys. Well, I should have a hat on because my hair is nuts because I didn't do it today. But we got a package in the mail from our friend Maria and her family. Oh, things are getting real. This is like a metal Mickey hook to go on a stroller. Mickey Mouse stroller hook. 
thank you Maria and family. Um, we know a few people who have used this and we've had like personal experience with it and so it's just like it's heavy duty which I like and it's big which I like and it's Mickey which I like so can't wait. I'm excited to like deck out a stroller like with just trinkets, cool things, vlogging things, organizational things and I want to get really good at closing it up and opening it when we hop on the monorail or hop on a bus or a boat. Also, Eve's been secretly loving this room lately, and she just like creepishly snuck in here, and it's just like chilling. Do you know what's coming? Are you excited for the baby? Are you going to defend it? Yeah, you're the cutest. So it's been hours. It's actually late. It's like 11. And here's the thing. Even though we've been chilling at home, we needed a chill night, and by that I mean I didn't have to do my work thing. And Sarah and I have been like, had a busy weekend, like constantly in front of a screen and constantly like doing stuff. So for the past, honestly, three hours, we've just been chilling. We watched The Vow, but now <laughs> we're hungry. So I'm gonna make a quick, work up a quick little like chip cracker treat. And then we are going to actually back our first Kickstarter. And we're gonna, I can't wait to show you guys that because that is super cool and a friend of ours who's doing it, I didn't even learn about it until just now. Sarah apparently had been following it for a while watching the progression on Twitter and uh, I'm excited. It's a super simple snack. We got some saltine crackers, some tomatoes, vegan cream cheese, garlic powder, and dill. And what we're going to do is we're going to mix the garlic powder in the vegan cream cheese because we wanted to use this. Sarah came up with this idea because it's like a modified family treat but we didn't want the cream cheese to go to bed so we're gonna mix garlic powder in the cream cheese put it on a cracker put some dill weed on there and then put uh, some little pieces of tomato on top of that it's gonna be delicious a major problem about this is that Eve is obsessed with tomatoes her nostrils are flaring like a monster this is where we're at right now Sarah's putting I thought she was gonna put the dill on it like a topping but she's gonna mix that into the the cream cheese so there's the garlic powder and the dill weed in there we're gonna mix it up you put the mala <laughs> on the cracker that's it i was setting up the, our kickstarter backing just now and sarah's had so many of these i haven't had one i'm so hungry but i'm gonna click, click play we're watching a clay i'm gonna click clay watching a classic singing in the rain while eating these snacks and i'm so hungry that i need to eat these and then we'll tell you about the hot sauces that we just backed on kickstarter <laughs> All right, here's my friend's Kickstarter. We'll put the info down in the info, and I highly suggest if you are a hot sauce fan that you should consider joining, like backing this Kickstarter. So it's Monster Kid Hot Sauce Company. It's my friend Sam, who I've gone to Halloween Horror Nights with numerous times. And I'm just going to read the top part real quick. Simply put, I create and distribute hot sauces inspired by your favorite horror and fantasy worlds, both in flavor and visual design. Um, then there's this cool stuff. We have a progressive sim single pepper so sauce for you. There's a great big beautiful Serrano. It'll make you long for Old World's Fair. So the link is there. You can become a backer and do different reward levels of like you get this for $3 backing, $5 backing, $10 backing, $20, $50, $100. Um, I think... He even has on his Twitter, like, here's a Plablano, Plablano mash that he was fermenting. All of his stuff is fermented. Here you go. Here's two of the two different kinds of fermenting right there. So Sam's a great guy. He does a bunch of great stuff, and I was so excited. I literally was like, saw him tweet about it. I was like, wait, I think we should do this. And Sarah's like, wait, are you talking about Sam's sauces? Like, I saw him post pictures a couple of days ago about like fermenting stuff. And he's almost there. He's $130 away from being like meeting his, his Kickstarter goal. And uh, I can't wait to go to Holland Horror Nights 30 with him with hopefully some new variations of this where we can try him out at City Walk. All right, today is Monday the 4th. Nothing's going on on the calendar this day or the next day, but Wednesday is our gotcha day with Eve. It, 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 Wednesday will be three years since we got Eve. I cannot believe that time has flown by so may 4th may the 4th be with you is by zayed k abdel noir time decides who you meet in life 
your heart decides who you want in your life and your behavior decides who stays in your life. Ooh, that is so good. I think, let's do that again, just for, just to let it sink in. Time decides who you meet in life. Your heart decides who you want in your life. And your behavior decides who stays in your life. Ooh, that's good. All right, simple vlog, but we had a great night, refreshing mentally and, and, and spiritually, I guess. The best scene in this whole movie just happened. Good morning, we're gonna rewind it. So we can watch it, yeah. I don't even know if this TV rewinds. We don't usually have a TV in our bedroom. Yeah. But we we're look using for, Eve's TV. For so you think you can dance. Not so you can dance for singing in the rain. <laughs> it's good to be home. Good Check out home. Sam's sauce. Um, one day I'll get to wear one of those hats again. We just heard a rumor that CityWalk might be opening May 11th, so goodbye! We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.